Hey guys, Jeff here, Dice Setters. So last Saturday we went live, and it was the very, very first time we've actually ever gone live. We went live here. I know there was some glitchiness and stuff like that. We're trying to get that resolved. Um, we either have regular cell phone service or CenturyLink. And it's kind of, yeah, I don't know. For those of you in Arizona, you know what we're talking about. But uh, hopefully next time we go live, it will be better. Um, give me a comment if that's something you want to see, like on a monthly basis. We'll try to have one extra person here to just monitor the, the comments as they go by so they can, they can actually answer them while the rest of us are playing. We'll try to have one extra person playing and uh, maybe go and uh, tell you know, what my strategy is, tell what the other person's strategy is, something like that. That gives you an idea of uh, what strategy is working at this table and what strategy isn't. But that doesn't mean it's going to work at the casino either. But in the comments, just let me know. Um, you know, if that's what you liked, um, you want more of it. And if you want something a little different, say, hey, I would like for you to do this and this during the live, let me know. Uh, our t-shirts are being worked on right now. There's one more person that we need to get in touch of, uh, in touch with, to see what design they wanted. And then we'll sit there and go to the printers and have those out for you guys. We will be having our meetup at the Quiva, which will be the 21st at noon. And uh, if you've never been, man, I, I, I wish that everyone that watches can go. It's just, uh, just a fun time. Um, this will, I know for sure this will be a Viquiva. Next month, we actually might move it to another place that has more tables. But uh, again, I'm not for sure. But uh, for those of you that do go, you know, tell me in the comments again or in person on the 21st. If you want to stay at Viquiva or there's another place that's supposed to have, I think, four tables. And uh, we'll go from there. There's a there's always a cold table, and I know that people say, oh, you can't have a cold table or a hot table, just like a slot machine is not hot or cold, but yet we've all been there, we've lost money, you're like, well, this table's cold, or the dice are cold. However you want to say it scientifically, we have all been there. So when I was showing playing the dark side, someone mentioned about playing the six, seven, eight strategy. So I was like, I've never heard of it. So when I was at Vegas on New Year's, I actually played this. And I played it at the $10 table and it worked really, really well for me. There are times it doesn't work. I will sit there and say this is not a cure-all for a cold table or a cure-all when you're not rolling. But uh, let's get a random roller on the table and let's see how it works. All right, guys, so I have $100 here. And this works fine at a $10 table. I am gonna sit there and put some insurance down. I'm gonna hop the sevens for six. I'm gonna put a quarter on the don't. And I'm gonna put uh, $1 on the midnight because it pays 30 to one. So if I hit this, I won't lose this, but I'll lose all of this. So at least that will recompensate everything. If I roll 11 on the come out, I'll lose my don't, but I'm saving that right there insurance. So that will re put uh, my 25 back up on the place and put my seven and my midnight back up there. So right now, whatever happens, we are not gonna be at a loss except for this insurance money I have here, which is a total of $9. This is a $10 uh, table, and we have a random roller, and it's come out point. And it's going to be yo, yo 11. So there was a comment that I answered to even this week, and I've been going through my comments. Um, there were some comments I just never got to or never saw. They said that this is a sucker bet. So if that's such a sucker bet, you lost $25 but it isn't a sucker bet. We just sat there in 130, so we lose our, our midnight, we lose our sevens, and then we get 30 back. You can play it however you want to. There is no wrong or right way of playing it, but I'm all about insurance. I'd rather have lose $9 there than lose 25 there. So we're gonna reset everything back up. We hop in the sevens for six, yeah, um, the yo, midnight, and we have the don't pass, and the shooter is going to be random, and it's going to be a 10. That's a good number. That's a good number for the shooter. It's going to be harder for them to shoot that again. 
especially if they're they're rolling random. So what we're going to do is put two units on six, two units on eight. We got tops. And we're hoping that they hit a six or an eight twice. And then we're going to pull back, pull back our money. And we can pull actually back all of our money because we are not the shooter and we were not required to have anything here if that should happen. But we're going to see what happens. It's going to be a five. Three, two, five. If you guys see it there. So nothing happens. We didn't have any money on five. Eight. It's going to be a hard eight. So we have our money on eight. That's going to pay us 14. And then we're going to sit there and press our six and our eight. I never was a dealer. I don't think we could ever be a dealer. I make everything look really complicated. So all we need to do is have the random roller hit a six or an eight. We'll take it down. It's up to you whether you're going to sit there and leave that. Um, I've always taken mine down. But it's completely up to you what you want them to do. Or what you want to do. And there goes the seven. So this up here that we had comes off. But it was insuranced by this right here. And uh, this guy here gets paid 25. And then we're going to redo it again. Hop the sevens. We have a new random shooter. Our puck comes off. And let's hope that shooter hits another 12 or a yo or a seven and can duplicate it. And it's going to be midnight. That's what we want to see right there. That's why we have insurance. So this here is a push. We're going to lose our 11. We're going to lose our sevens. And that pays us 30. And then we're going to set everything back up again. Our sevens for six. Uh, two for our yo. And because we hit this once, I want to sit there and press it up just one time. And same thing with the sevens. If you hit your sevens, press it up once. Or if you hit yo, press it up once. Hopefully the shooter, even though they are random, will hit it one more time. So the shooter has rolled an eight. Five, three, eight. So in this case, the, uh, the viewer that sent me the instructions on how to do this didn't really say what happens if they roll the number that we're gonna put money on. But what I've done is just move it either to the right or to the left. It seems to work just the same. So we're gonna sit there and have our sixes for two units, and then we're gonna have our nine for two units. And hopefully they'll sit there and roll a six and a nine twice, and then we can remove our don't and take the profits and leave. It's gonna be a seven. We did not make it that far. This comes off, we lose this. But we did hit that. We're gonna do it again. Hop the sevens. Yo, midnight. And we have a six. All this comes down. We're going to do the same thing, but this time instead of being on the six, we're going to move it to the five. And go to the eight again.
Nothing happens with a nine. It's gonna be a six. And that was our point. So this is when you get into trouble because now we just lost our $25. That stays, I lose this. So we're gonna do it again. Get some change here. Set us back up on the seven. Yo. And that money stays because they did not seven out. Same shooter. It's going to be a nine. All this comes down again. And I top that off. So now we're six and eight. Looking for a six or an eight. So we did get a six. So we're gonna get 14 on that. Put tops on it. Now we're just hoping one more six or eight and then we're done. going to be a yo. There was a yo. Dice are out. And there goes our seven. We still have not done that. This comes down. We get our 25 back. Get some change here. Six dollar seven. One dollar midnight. Two dollar bill. New shooter. It's going to be a six. And we'll set it up again. We'll go to the fives, eights. Sorry, babe. Oh, I have no idea what I'm going to do. New dice. Yo, yo, 11. Does not hurt us. We have no money on yo. It's going to be a four. We have no money on four. We have six. And that's not what we wanted. This comes down. That stays. We lose our... 25. We'll try to make it again. Gonna change again. One, two, three. Same shooter. It's going to be a five. Marker five, four or five to our six. Make toppers for the six. And we pull down all this. Eight. 
eight. Okay, we got our one eight. All we need is another six or eight. That's going to give us 14. Once that six or eight happens, we'll pull everything down. It's gonna be a three. Nothing wrong with a three, but we are looking for a six or an eight. 10, hard 10. There goes an eight. Six, two, eight. So that's going to be 21. We're going to pull these down. Now, we're going to pull this down. But let's see if the shooter can hit a five or a seven. See if it was the smart thing to do or not. There goes an eight. We pulled our eight. <laughs> there goes a six. We pulled our six. There goes a nine. We did not have any money on the nine. And there goes the seven. So yes, we pulled it at the right time, but we did have uh, six and eight happen once. So we started with uh, started with two hundred, and we had many rollers, even though it looked like it came from the same roller. That's 80. So we only lost $11. And that whole thing, we only lost $11. You can see the potentials there. The bad thing is, is if they do hit the six or eight, you know, going to the nine or going to the five, it's not as prevalent as a six or eight. And if they hit their own number, that's what's gonna really mess, mess it up, especially if it's a six or an eight and they hit it. But that was mini rollers, um, the table, you know, you won't really say the table's hot or cold. Definitely it's it's steady. And I uh, went around the table and we only lose eleven dollars. I don't think it's a bad bad of a of a strategy. If the table were more bouncy and you had absolutely no control whatsoever, that would be when you would sit there and use this for sure. Because you know they're gonna seven out. And you know, hopefully they'll get a, a six or an eight, then then seven. That's what you're looking for. And tell me in the comments, would you leave your 25 on the dump? Or once you sat there and hit it twice, would you sit there and bring it down? <coughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to say subscribe because we're only at 190 more than what we need to to go live. And I want to, you know, I said, you know, wait to 1,000. We won't do any more. But I, I'd like for us to bring it just a hair further back. You know, I wouldn't worry so bad if we're at around 1,500 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, I, you know, ask, please sit there and subscribe. Um, that will also show you when we're coming live. I didn't give anybody any warning, um, but that way that, hey, you know, Saturday night, you'll have a ding come from your phone and, hello, oh, look, you know, Dice Fitters is going live. If you guys can do me one favor, and that is go to my wife's uh, slot channel and like and subscribe the video. I will post the video that you will see tomorrow so that, uh, you know, you'll actually get a look at it before anybody else gets to see it. And it'll be in the description of the video. So if you go to it tonight, as long as, you know, Century Leak works like it's supposed to, um, you will be able to see it before we actually go live with that video for tomorrow. And uh, that video was pretty good. It, 
it shows some really good things all at Ellis Island. And uh, we will be in Ellis Island at the end of this month, and we will be at Ellis Island for uh, the Super Bowl. So if you guys are in the area, you want to sit there and say hi, or you want to roll, or, or just get together and hang out, I'm there for you, man. Sit there and shoot me an email. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. That's what we want to see right there. That's why we have insurance. So this here is a push. We're going to lose our 11. We're going to lose our 7. And that pays us 30. And then we're going to set everything back up again. Our 7s for 6. Uh, two for our yo, and because we hit this once, I want to sit there and press it up just one time. And same thing with the sevens. If you hit your sevens, press it up once. Or if you hit yo, press it up once. Hopefully the shooter, even though they are random, will hit it one more time. So the shooter has rolled an eight. Five, three, eight. So in this case, the, uh, the viewer that sent me the instructions on how to do this didn't really say what happens if they roll the number that we're going to put money on. But what I've done is just move it either to the right or to the left. It seems to work just the same. So we're going to sit there and have our sixes for two units, and then we're going to have our nine for two units. And hopefully they'll sit there and roll a six and a nine twice and then we can remove our don't and take the profits and leave it's going to be a seven we did not make it that far this comes off we lose this but we did hit that we're going to do it again out the sevens Yo, midnight. And we have a six. All this comes down. We're going to do the same thing. But this time, instead of being on the six, we're going to move it to the five. And go to the eight again. It's going to be a nine. Nothing happens with a nine. It's going to be a six. And that was our point. So this is when you get into trouble because now we just lost our $25. That stays, I lose this. So we're gonna do it again. Get some change here. Set us back up on the seven. Yo. And that money stays because they did not seven out. Same shooter. It's going to be a nine. All this comes down again. top that off so now we're six and eight looking for a six or an eight so we need to get a six so we're gonna get 14 on that put tops on it now we're just hoping one more six or eight, and then we're done. It's going to be a yo. There was a 
go. Dice are out. And there goes our seven. We still have not done that. This comes down. We get our 25 back. Let's get some change here. $6.07, seven. $1 midnight, $2 bill, new shooter, it's going to be a six. Set it up again, go to the fives, eights, sorry babe, oh, I have no idea what I'm going to do, new dice. Yo, yo, 11. Does not hurt us. We have no money on yo. It's going to be a four. We have no money on four. We have six. And that's not what we wanted. This comes down. That stays. We lose our... 25. We'll try to make it again. And change again. One, two, three. Same shooter. It's going to be a five. We're going to mark our five, pull our five to our six, make toppers for the six. And we pull down all this. Eight. Okay, we got our one eight. All we need is another six or eight. That's going to give us 14. Once that six or eight happens, we'll pull everything down. It's going to be a three. Nothing wrong with a three, but we are looking for a six or an eight. Ten. Hard ten. Nine. There goes an eight. Six, two, eight. So that's going to be 21. We're going to pull these down. Now, we're going to pull this down. But let's see if the shooter can hit a five or a seven. See if it was the smart thing to do or not. There goes an eight. We pulled our eight. It's 
<laughs> there goes a six. We pulled our six. There goes a nine. We did not have any money on the nine. And there goes a seven. So yes, we pulled it at the right time, but we did have uh, six and eight happen once. So we started with uh, started with two hundred, and we had many rollers, even though it looked like it came from the same roller. That's 80. So we only lost $11. And that whole thing, we only lost $11. You can see the potentials there. The bad thing is, is if they do hit the six or eight, you know, going to the nine or going to the five, it's not as prevalent as a six or eight. And if they hit their own number, that's what's gonna really mess, mess it up, especially if it's a six or an eight and they hit it. But that was many rollers, um, the table, you know, you won't really say the table's hot or cold. Definitely it's, it's steady. And uh, went around the table and we only lose $11. I don't think it's a bad, bad of, a, of a strategy. If the table were more bouncy and you had absolutely no control whatsoever, that would be when you would sit there and use this for sure because you know they're going to seven out. And, you know, hopefully they'll get a, a six or an eight and then seven. That's what you're looking for. And tell me in the comments, would you leave your 25 on the don't? Or once you sat there and hit it twice, would you sit there and bring it down? <coughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to say subscribe because we're only at 190 more than what we need to to go live. And I want to, you know, I said, you know, wait to 1,000. We won't do any more. But I, I'd like for us to bring it just a hair further back. You know, I wouldn't worry so bad if we we're around 1,500 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, I, you know, ask, please sit there and subscribe. Um, that will also show you when we we're coming live. I didn't give anybody any warning, um, but that way that, hey, you know, Saturday night, you'll have a ding come from your phone and hello, oh, look, you know, Dice Fitters is going live. If you guys can do me one favor, and that is go to my wife's uh, slot channel and like and subscribe the video. I will post the video that you will see tomorrow so that, uh, you know, you'll actually get a look at it before anybody else gets to see it. And it'll be in the description of the video. So if you go to it tonight, as long as, you know, Century Link works like it's supposed to, um, you will be able to see it before we actually go live with that video for tomorrow. And uh, that video was pretty good. It, uh, it shows some really good things, all at Ellis Island. And uh, we will be at Ellis Island at the end of this month. And we will be at Ellis Island for uh, the Super Bowl. So if you guys are in the area, you want to sit there and say hi, or you want to roll, or, or just get together and hang out, I'm there for you, man. Sit there and shoot me an email. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.